here is the problem we're having with our whirlpool duet. Turn her on. Go to dry. That's zero. So some people said to unplug it, uh, stuff like that. Tried that, unplugging it for a few minutes. Um, out of this portal right here, if you actually sniff it, you can smell a burnt resistor in there. So I'm assuming something happened to the board. So we gotta take off that screw and that screw, and the board should be right over here. So there are three screws all together, and this actually just pops right up and out like that. And then there's oh, actually our board fell down here. They missed a screw at some point when they put it back together. It looks like it might have killed our board. Huh? Too hot, too close to the thing. So. Take this out, you take those two screws out, but it looks like one of them is already missing. Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened there, but that might have killed our board. Too close to the heat. But then you just gotta unplug all these. Uh, you see a part number way down in there. You pop this off, screw there, screw there. We'll check it. So we wanna just connect all these cables here. Uh, take a picture of it before you do so. So you can put them back in the right spot if you need to. Uh, but most likely we'll be buying a new one here. So you don't have to take the whole thing out. You can just kind of get it moved a little bit and then there's one screw down there. Uh, you can pop off and then it looks like you can kind of just slide it out of here. And we're going to look for anything burnt to confirm that the board is bad. And there we go. You just gotta push these little uh, tabs in. I kind of start on one side, push them in, push the board up to get them past these little, there's six little tabs. And then you can see our culprit here. This little guy right here blew up. Let's see what is that thing? Home run, some relay. So if you're fancy at soldering or whatnot, you might be able to take this piece off and just replace that. Uh, I'm not quite that fancy at soldering, so I'm just going to look for this board. You can find his part number right there. So we'll go hunt for him and see what we find. So we can look for that part here on uh, Google if we want. Uh, kind of see we can see some refurbs or something this is actually i'm doing this months after i actually did it so i'm seeing some cheaper prices now but originally when i did it uh some of the only options were you know like 280 dollars on amazon and i'm not sure on these shopping results that we got here but uh, you can look at the time you're doing it not bad deals here what i went with was this was the cheapest solution and worked very well mail your old board into this guy and then he fixes it and sends it back to you. And like I said, it worked very well. It was just the 45 bucks plus the um, shipping to send it to him. And he got it back and, and it was less than a week, just a few days. So on this, I took it apart on the 18th of July and I was putting it back together on the 23rd. So that shows you it was only five days being without a dryer. All right, so we put everything back. All the cables in our spot. That one down there was empty. I reviewed my uh, photo that I took before. These are the only two that were like specific, the red and the black. I made sure they go in the right spot. Okay, so here's our moment of truth. Looks good. Oh yeah. All right, let's check. And one final note here, this is uh, January 18th of doing this, so it's been functioning just fine um, since July to now, what, half a year-ish. So, worked great.
Enjoy. Good luck. Bye-bye.